All right, David Harry here, and this video is just a little bit of fun for any of you geeky types out there who are into video editing and you're into things like video codecs and stuff, because I'm quite sure you'll find this video quite amusing. Anyway, what it is, I've prepared a video file which no Mac can play internally, or at least it can't play it in real time. It can attempt to play the video, but it can't play it in real time because the video file uses such a high bandwidth or bit rate it's impossible for it to be played back internally on the Mac and the only way that I can play back this particular file is to use my Acasus 8 terabyte RAID 0 system which is capable in this particular instance of reading at about 10,000 megabytes per second and believe me you are going to need around 10,000 megabytes per second in order to be able to read this file back. Anyway, like I said, it's just a bit of fun, but I think any of you geeky types out there who are like me for video editing and codecs, you'll probably get a little bit of a kick out of this one. Okay, so I'm onto me Mac, and there's the file that I will be testing there. So this one is actually on the desktop, and I've got the exact same file on my RAID, there it is there. Now let me just show you the properties for the files here. They are identical because basically I just copied the one from the RAID to the desktop. But as we can see here, both of them are 568.18 gigabytes in size. And also if we have a look right down to the byte size, they both end at 478 bytes. So quite clearly they are the same uh, video file. Now what I'm gonna do here is to just quickly <laughs> work out the bit rate for these video files. Right, so it's 568 gigabytes in size, so 568, and the file is only one minute long, and I will show you that when I pull it into Resolve in a second. So we'll divide its gigabyte size <laughs> by the amount of time, which is 60 seconds. So these files, or this file, has got a bit rate of 9.46 gigabytes per second. So basically what this is, is 10K at a uncompressed YUV at 60 FPS. Okay, so we now know what we're dealing with here. So what I'm gonna do is just open up Resolve here. I've already got a project ready. So what I'm gonna do is to just drag that file into Resolve, there we go. And then I will just drag that into the timeline. Now the first thing that I will do here is just to show you, in fact, if I come over here to the properties for the file, as we can see, uh, 10,240 by 5,760 is the resolution. And the project itself is set to the exact same thing. So 10,240 by 5,760. Now, although that may not be a recognized resolution, it in fact is what 10K is as far as UHD is concerned. So if we scaled up, say, 4K or 8K up to 10K at 16.9 UHD, that is the resolution for 10K. So let me come out of there. And then the other thing to show you here, as far as the playback is concerned, I'm saying here, show all video frames. So basically what's going to happen here is that we will definitely see what the real-time counter for the frame rate is saying. So with that said, let me just play through the file here. Now, that's all going to look like really smooth and stuff, but that's really smooth because it's in slow-mo basically right now. And the reason why is if we have a look up here, look at that, it's actually only playing 41.5 frames per second. <laughs> So basically what this has shown us is that the bitrate or the bandwidth of this video file is far too high for the max internal storage to be able to even play it in real time. And don't forget, this is before you do anything like edit it or like do any kind of effects or anything like that. The internal storage is just simply not capable of playing through that file. Now, interestingly, we can actually scrub through it quite well and stuff. And the main reason for that is because once again, if we have a look at the properties, it's uncompressed YUV422. So uncompressed files are definitely easier to decode with inside of something like Resolve or on a Mac or something. However, it's the 
bit rate that we just can't keep up with because <laughs> it's just way too it's way too high the bit rate let me just give you another example <laughs> so basically we're about 41 to 42 frames per second and that's the most we're going to get out of it from this mac okay and in fact just before i go any further let me just do a quick black magic disk speed test for the max internal storage okay so let me just go to my home folder let's select that and as we can see here well ignore the write speed that's going to be a joke now the read speed here is over 5000 so the max internal storage can only really do just over 5000 uh, megabytes per second for the read hence why it is struggling massively with that file now if i go back to the uh, the edit page here and resolve I will let me see in fact let me just get rid of that file there and I'll get rid of it out of uh, out of resolve as well now what I'm going to do is to get the same file but the one that is sitting on my external raid let me just drag that into resolve there and then let me just pop that into the timeline and as we can clearly see here in the in inspect that's the exact same file same resolution frame rate and also it's using the same codec but watch this time oh yeah and let me just double check i've still got show all frame or show all video frames active now let me just show you this now look at that 60 frames per second <laughs> <laughs> now you may not be able to tell you know very easily but that definitely is not playing slower than what it had been off the um, off the internal storage for the mac so that definitely is playing properly at 60 frames per second which is obviously something that the file couldn't do when it was running off the internal storage and to be super clear the only reason why we're able to do this is because the bandwidth for the raid for its read speed is a lot higher so let me just show you here i'll select the acasis 8 terabyte raid zero let me run this test and we're going to see that the read speed is a lot faster there we go it's nearly 10,000 megabytes per second and to be honest that's probably only just about fast enough to play this file back in real time in fact let me just try something else here can i bring the same file in there yeah okay so i've got the same file in now as well from the desktop and i will just flip between them so here's the file off the desktop as we can see 43 megabytes per second now at this point in the video capture the card isn't going that slow however if i just flip over to the raid there we go as we can see 60 frames per second and the car is clearly going faster so <laughs> there's actually quite a big difference here let me just flip between them so back onto the internal storage and yeah it, at first you might see that it struggles to go real time as it's trying to buffer the file but once it gets into it it just can't handle it and then if i flip back over to the raid look at that immediately straight away the car is driving at the correct speed okay so to an end summary then and once again to be super clear this problem that i've just shown you here is actually something that nobody out there is ever likely to come across now don't get me wrong you know it was a bit of fun and stuff to be able to do it and it, it's basically just to show people that you know all computers have got their limits and so of like you know storage systems and stuff and this is the reason why in particular instances people do actually need to use raid systems and very very fast ones because don't forget there are going to be some people who are editing say uh, maybe effects work and stuff for real high-end hollywood movies and once they start getting shot at like you know 8k 12k 16k and stuff like that part of that workflow will involve uncompressed video just to maintain quality whilst passing stuff through a post-production chain maybe probably mostly for effects work and stuff like that so as insane as what you thought that these like bandwidths were and they are obviously insane for these bandwidths and bit rates i would imagine that there's probably like one or two people out there who are looking at that going huh, that's nothing <laughs> wait until you get to 60 
16k do you know what i mean but that's obviously only going to be for people working at the super super high end in post-production for hollywood massive blockbuster movies and stuff like that but nonetheless hopefully this video has uh, been a little bit of fun for people out there and a, li and a little bit of light entertainment anyway i'm gonna dive off i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now